hey, 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 hey. Good afternoon, good evening, good night, and good morning, depending on where in the world you're watching this show. If you've joined us on Facebook, you've just seen this twice. <laughs> it's like double, double trouble. Something didn't have the... Uh... Well, we know why. We're just trying to get going for um, bringing back the vibe of yes. Facebook and YouTube. We That's want right. to bring that in. We try and to bring both. Facebook is always an interesting one. I don't know why we've still got these coming on. Uh, maybe I do know why. Because of the whole Facebook thing starting it off. Yes, you again. need to go and switch them off quickly. Let's do that. Before that stay on yes. the left of Dom. The, 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 the. Here we go. It always hides, Keith. It always hides. Yeah. That, okay. That. So um, on today's show, what we're going to be doing, Dom? We are going to be diving very fast into the studio because we've got loads to do. Yes, we've been working hard all day, working with quick links and geometric patterns and changing things up and see how it affects our builds. Um, so we need to do all that really. But before that, just this. Okay, we're excited. And, and we, we had a little test run as well because we didn't have any of the lights on as well. I know, probably. I know. Yeah. <laughs> but we're here now and it was worth it because welcome Facebook twice. Yes. But welcome back to the show. And welcome. We should be able to get the chat messages from both platforms up at any time that we ask for them. Maybe not today, but definitely. <laughs> in the future. That was, you wrote a check there, Keith. I know that, but we, in the future. Are... But I'm thinking that when we get the workshop, we should be able to see both sides of the messages normally. Oh, we, we can, yes, yes. Normally we we can't. On the screen today, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Yes. We'll see what happens. Uh, hello know. to everybody. Hello to Tampa Bay, uh, Tampa, Florida. And hello to South Africa. Hey. And uh, we've got Zach and Zoe on. Hey. Tally, Caroline uh, Kalina. Hello. Hello to everybody. Right, okay, we need to get over there pretty quickly. We so do. we've done beforehand, we've made a kind of a bit of a, a fun video. We, we, we hope we've had we, we like it and we hope you like it. Listen. <laughs> I'm gonna level with you. I know what it's gonna he's gonna say. It's like just under three minutes. Okay. <laughs> So you're thinking, oh, it's three minutes of your life. You're gonna watch this. Yeah, okay? I had to edit six and a half gigabits of footage to get this. There was more than three minutes of work and effort in a very warm studio, I may add. So, please, if you like it, tell us you liked it. If you don't tell, like it, keep it to yourself. Yeah, tell us. I don't want to know. Tell us if you like the style of the video too, not just the content. Yeah. Um, we had fun. I'll give you that. <laughs> but it was a lot of work to go to three minutes, Keith. I agree. I agree. Okay, let's do and it. And we made Steph smile. <laughs> yes. No, not because like we made her happy and she smiled. No, we made her smile. Right. It, uh, which is no mean feat uh, if you watched the Rockstar special last time. So here we go. Let's do this. Let's go.
There we hey. are. We're in the studio. Yes, and microphones are on. Excellent. That's always good. Are the microphones on? Yes, because I, I can see it on there. I can't hear myself in my ear. That's... No, neither can I. I think I may have fixed that last time. Excellent. Hey, I tell you well, what, I'll eyes. move on that. Yeah, no, yeah. that's fine. Mic there. Yeah, we've got workshop mics on, pod mics off, master mics on. Excellent. Excellent. So yes. So we're not doing anything else until we get some sort of <laughs> satisfaction that you've all said, oh, yeah, I like that. I yes. did. I enjoyed it. It was worth your hours in the hot work. <laughs> 24 degrees. I know, I know, I know. It's crazy. We're used to 11. Yes. Outside in the sun. <laughs> uh, so we need to fly through this anyway. We We've got we so do. much to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to get straight very, on. Very quick recap on the quick link. Yeah, build, it was. Yeah. yeah. So um, if you want to see the full tutorial on how to build that particular arch that was showcased there, get yourself into the um, you did it. description and there's a link already there to the frameless balloon arch tutorial. I didn't know where you're going with that, so I couldn't Well, I, I guessed. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly go through a couple of things. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The same kill video. Uh, I I'm saw happy. that. I'll take one comment. Yeah. yeah. Um, so <laughs> what we've got is we've got some quick links on here. These are six inch and we're going to inflate them. <laughs> Uh, no, they need to be a bit bigger than that. What do you, you say? 0 0.8. 0 0.8 on this machine yeah, for zero. that. So we're going to inflate the two sizes that we're working with for the six inch quick link side of this <laughs> is a four inch, four and a half inch, sorry, three and a half inch. So the yes. bigger size is this size, which is the four and a half inch, and the smaller size, which you'll see shortly, will be <laughs> three and a half inch. So the big thing that we want to show you is when you do it, is you pull it over, pull up nice and tight, and go once, twice round nice and tight and then tie that over the top. And then, even more important is to do it with the tips. So yeah. I grab the tip and I pull, uh, push the air out of it, push the air out of it, pull it up tight once, twice. That's really twice. tight as well, before yeah. you pull them, put them. You see there's no space between. This is the, the reason we're showing this again, I know lots of you already know about this. However, this is the biggest bit of feedback we get. Yeah. To say they do a quick link build and it's not freestanding. It, 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 why does it not work without frames? That's because your knots and your connections are not tight enough. So that's yeah. why we've got this little recap. It's got to be, everything's got to be nice and tight and firmly inflated that's right. too. So yeah. for the, the build, as we've always said with quick links, it's like Lego. We're going to have some connectors on here. Because this is six inch quick links, we are going to do these on a smaller scale. Normally with the bigger builds, we're doing them with two five inch balloons, but we don't need to do that for this. We're just going to use a single balloon. Uh, we're going to do that at point 0.1 on these. Oh yeah, that's right, and the little then ones. And take that balloon and we're going to pull it all the way down. Really important, that's all the way down on that nozzle and then a single press on the pedal. You can see it's a really small balloon, but we've got a nice clean um, stretch and inflation on that. So just tie that off. It's it's approximately two inches. Yes. Um, you will find you'll get some slight deviation in size on the very small sizes. And it's that, it's not the machine of how much air it's putting out, it's how you're holding it, how much you're pulling it down and where you're stretching it to. Yeah, However, secret, I let a little bit of air out of this yeah. one. Yeah. However, not for this, so. if you hold them right next to each other, you may notice it, but once you've done that, that split duplet and then added them in, you do not notice. Yeah. So what Keith's done there is he's taken where that nozzle is and we're putting the split down the middle. So we're just separating that into two. I'm not going to twist it too much because I've actually looked at that and gone, actually they're not the same. So I can just half untwist, adjust the sizes, get them the same, and then bring that into the middle, pull it over, and that gives us our connector there. Okay. Yeah. We're not working with this color. No, no, so, so we, once we do four of them, that's your connector uh, up and running. I don't need that. I never, never, feel like a bit there. of Blue Peter to show in the UK where they have everything ready. <laughs> so this is Here's one be, I prepared earlier. Um, the ring that we're going to use. So we've got this as a shape with four. Um, we've got our four connectors in there, and we're going to add that into a piece of just modular design here. Ta-da! What we've got here in the blue, so it's the robin's egg blue, and this is just a run, so it's a chain. So this is a duplet, 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 and we've just got a single on this uh, because we we wanted to borrow something for this to add on to something later, so we'll show you that. But it's just a run of duplets, and these are all two four and a half inches, and we've got four runs of those, and you can see, because we've added those in and they're all the same size, it's made it really strong. And, and very straight. Very straight. Yeah. So all we do to add that in is, if you had a link here, this would come into play, and then the connection will go between those two, and that's what that connect is there for. So you don't have to do any tying. It just adds that ribbon each yeah. time. So I'm going to take that out because we're going to reuse that. Yes, because we also have uh, this, this one here. That side. 
we want to show you how we create the curve for the arch, how that actually happens. And the way that we do it is, instead of having them all the same size, the, um, the balloons on the inside are to a smaller size. So you can see there, instead of it being the four and a half inches, these ones are down to three, three and a half inches. inches. So um, as it goes, it already creates the arch. So this has got exactly the same amount of balloons. So yeah. in this is two, four, six, eight. And then on the inside is two, four, six, eight. And then all we do is we take it between the two quick links, cross them over, and we do it all the way around. This is the really important step where you don't miss the connection. You don't, yeah. you don't try and cross it over and get it mixed up. Cross it around like that. And then I have this one. I keep on stabbing myself in the side with the microphone. We try to, as a conscious, we tried to do it the same way, so we, we do mm -hmm. righty tighty. So it means if you just twist it once and always in the same direction, it's very easy to dismantle, fix, and change yep. and amend. So on it goes, and that now gives us that beautiful curve. So what we can do as well is we can take the curve, we need the straight part and the curved part to make the arch, of course. So what we're going to do is we're going to tie these um, neck to neck, or sorry, tip to tip in this case, around there. We do the double wrap around as well, always. So always. we take that, pull that across, and wrap it around. Double wrap around method's really good because first of all, it gets it nice and secure, but if something should go wrong, there's, it's a great way to be able to untie the balloons, to resize them. Um, in fact, we did it earlier where we were um, sizing something and I inflated them to the wrong size. But because we've done the double wrap method, I was able to uh, take them apart again, untie them and reinflate them to the right size. Yes. So the last one, I'm just going to slip it into there. It's going into the middle. Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? Are you going to try for it? Uh, with this one, and we're going to do... Uh, I'm proud of this, so I'll put it in the middle. There we yeah. go. So you can see... So you just... Take that back out. Yeah. Lovely. So... That's the gap. Now that's tied together. In it goes. And then... In it goes, and like Dom said, right and tidy, so we're doing it clockwise onto there. And the main thing is, if you if you don't get them twisted all the right direction, it doesn't matter too much if you're only twisting it once as well. Which yeah. means if you go to twist it to, to unlock it and it doesn't, you just need to twist it back the other way twice. Yeah. And then that means that now we've got this long straight and an arch so like it means that. what we can do is we could come up here with a straight we turn the corner 90 degrees and then continue on there and go back the other side so it's it's really handy so we just wanted to show um how we you can create these kind of arches in different curves having a bit of a play around with the sizes yeah. in your own recipe right yes always absolutely. the same amount of balloons on the opposite side but we on this one we've got the full size four and a half then we've yeah. got to the three and a half Three and a half, back to four and a half, so it creates a straight curved straight. Yeah. So this Way one, around. it's never going to go around ninety degrees, but it's a it's a curved kind of arch or a, a section. You can do like this. signs. You can do hanging elements. You can do so much with this yep. as a freestanding structure or something that's very structural that could be hung from the ceiling. We did a full rig that yep. we hung from a venue. No frame. So if it all came down, which it never, but if it all came down, it's just some balloons. Yeah, and, and rigging up there as well, we just use an uh, click click magnet. So it means that once we put them up there, it's not you don't need the heaviest rigging because mm. it's just click on there with a magnet using the magmover pole. It's ideal. And with the new magmover poles, it's even lighter. Absolutely. Uh, okay, so um, that was the four cluster. Uh, which makes you the square. So what we thought was we would have a go at changing it up a little bit um, to change it to a three. Triangle. A triangle. So if we took one balloon away from each of our 25 connectors... 25 percent less balloons. You get one of them. Yeah. It looks cool straight away. Yes. So we've created these chains and these chains, because it's June and it's Pride Month, we thought we would uh, work it on and here. And you know what? We just like the colour. We do. It's a rainbow. And you can fill the whole world with a rainbow. So this is a run of 20 balloons. 
The colour sequence is I did. There's a pen on the floor. There's a colour sequence, and it is the the full. It's the six there that we've pulled out yeah. from the Pride Rainbow. So we've got the six colours there, and then it just repeats itself. You know what? Sorry. Just repeats itself. Perfect. Now, normally for a circle, we do twenty balloons, but there's a little bit of wiggle room with balloons, even though we size them, and the perfect size works out correct with 20 balloons yes because it's a balloon it's got a bit of give and take so you can sometimes go up a little bit so go from 20 to 21 to 22 or go down, down to them. 18 yes the reason we do that is because if we have a color sequence that doesn't work out at 20 which this doesn't it's too short our options were to add on which too short been... means actually that number two yes is two I... number two yes short. so we to make this a 20 we need two more balloons but then we're going to have an odd colour sequence because we've go, got six colours. Because it's going to go round to itself. So that doesn't work. So adding two doesn't work. If we added the six in, we're going to be a 24, which is too big for what we want. Yes. But it's a case of playing around. Now, that one is the same as the other one. Yeah, so, so we've, we've got, got two short, um, two runs using the three and a half inch, uh, six inch quickling size to three and a half inch. Correct. And then, because we're doing a triangle, the outside is only going to be one run. Uh, and they are sized to four and a half inches. Correct. Now, the the ribs are always sized to the same size, so we've got these sized to four and a half inches. The five inch split duplet is sized to um, three. The, the same thing again, oh, them one's a little bit bigger. No, 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 no it's two it's inches. Two inches, yes, right, yeah, two inches. So it's a point one on our machine. Um, it's not exactly two inches, but it's close enough. Um, and a split duplet. And again, there's a bit of give and take on the size there. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be a triangle, so we're going to start with the central. Single yeah. one, yes. What I, because we're doing it as a circle, because yes. we're going to do this as a full circle, I'm actually going to tie this together as a ring. Great. So we're going to do that. And then, we're because of the way that it's going to work... We're going to do something a little bit different with the pants. So we're going to yeah. do this one first. We're going to bring so these we can in. Tie and these are this all in. going to match up, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. So, so we can tie that this in there. As as we need and them. on... The, the way that I'm working is on the left hand side of each balloon, I'm doing the same colour. So and it doesn't we've got matter. Robin's egg, but no, no, it doesn't but matter. You pick left. There, yeah. So uh, I could have done right, but as I'm left handed, I'm going to do it that way. Yeah. So and then right. we've got to do that. Because right is correct. And then we need. <laughs> I do it because I'm not right in the head. That's what well, it is. There's that, yeah. But it's just picking something that works and sticking with it and being consistent. So we're just going through now, adding colour by colour. For the pattern we've chosen as well, the connectors are the same matching colour as the ribs. Yes. Purple, violent purple. Robin's egg blue. Oh, one second, it's just turned on me. Robin's egg blue. Spring green. Spring green. I'll grab that as well. The yellow. I'll that for a second. Yellow. Yellow. Let's do it in Spanish. Orange, Tom. Not orange. <laughs> no. Na Naharanya. Red. Rojo. Red. <laughs> purple. I haven't learned yeah. purple yet. Yeah, Robert Bosco, because he's learned Spanish, he taught me red as well. Right. Blue. Blue. Azul. Blue. Verde. Green. Verde. No? Bird here. Yeah, oh, yeah, close. Yeah. I was close. I should get that one. Uh, it's close enough. Right, okay. <laughs> now in Dutch. Yeah. What's up? What? Is it gone? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. Red. Red and purple. Purple. Yes. Got my thumb caught in the design there. Nice. Nah. It's very expensive if you don't resolve that. Okay, so we've got the outer spine sorted we have. in the fact that uh, it's now connected all the way on to there. Now, what I think we'll do is we'll do the overhead camera, I think, Ooh, to see we'll do the, the overhead camera. To see the other... Uh, uh, Let's see if I can get this, the, get it looking nice for the camera. Right, there we go. Looks so much better. Oh, look at that. It looks like we know what we're doing. It's kind of like that, but What different. I'm going to do is I'm going to tie this together as well. Our I think that's a good idea. first ring for the inside. Has got a ring to it. Now, I'm going to match up the colour sequence, so I'm just going to bring this in just to make sure I've got it the right way. So what I've got here is I've got the purple, the red, the orange, because if I put it the other way around, 
it would have been the wrong way. It, it doesn't work. So we're going to make sure I'm going to match it up. Yeah. So it's the same. But so, we're going to kick it off a bit, aren't we? Yeah. So we started with the Robin's Egg Blue on this one before. So we'll do it again. Instead of doing it the same, we're going to step yeah. that once round like this. So now it's going to kind of zigzag. Gives it, yeah, it gives you like a bit of a, a twist and pattern going yeah. in there as well. Yes. And again, you could do it the other way as well. You could make it so it actually is the There's same. There's nothing wrong with so that. So you could do bands. It looks yeah. great, but we want to do something that's a little bit different. And um, see what it, it looks like. And just a bit of fun. Yeah. I want to work this way. Yep. And you're going to work that way. If you are working together, it is good to work in this this fashion. In the fact that you work the way from the point that is fixed. And what we're watching out for is not missing a colour because yeah. it's surprisingly easy to miss out on one on the way around. Or getting the wrong side of that triangle. Yeah. So quite easily here I could do let's see if I can bring that on the camera key. See yeah. where I'm at. So here I could pick the wrong side of that triangle, but actually it should be that one. So that's, that's an easy mistake to make. What a mistake are they making? This design's a little bit less forgiving for the necks and ends of the five inch. Mm -hmm. uh, so you need to make sure that you trim them off or tuck them in as well. Um, with it only having the single on at the moment, it's popped it out like this, which I really it's like. It's actually is really cool, yeah. So just to sort of an extra note on this one, we've chosen to do the inside ring as the smaller size. Yes. As, as a two though. So you can yes. have this as a, a triangle that points sort of in, in towards inwards it. or out of it. Yeah. So it's whichever way you want. So we've done it so the thicker side of the triangle is on the inside of the circle. Mm -hmm. Right, so we're going to flip this over. We are. We'll leave the overhead camera on because it's probably, again, still the easiest way yes. to see it. Have I lost um, the, ring, the ring again? You've, yes. Yeah. I got it back. I brought it and then okay. it ran away. So same thing. We're going to get this ring and join it together. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have this matching exactly the same as the one that we've already put on. Yeah, so it's actually easy now because it lines up so nice, but it, we're going to match this so it's the yeah, same. Yeah, so the red on red. Yeah, you are going to do that one, then I'm going to work away. Okay, and then the purple for me. Oh, I'm going to pull this towards us. Well on stretch and so you can see it there. Overhead camera a bit. It's very noisy in here. I wonder how noisy it is. Back at home. There you can turn the down. <laughs> that was just when we were talking. Right. Okay, okay so, that's cool. Let's do a front camera, right? So how cool is that? Hi! That's that's fantastic. Do you and like it's it's super though. structural. Watch. I'm gonna hold one balloon. Yeah. So I've got a hold of one quick link, and that's it. Yeah. Really strong. It's great. And it won't hold that way because they're going to roll around. But let me get those five inch there. Look at that. Yeah. So you can imagine just a couple chandelier of, or yeah, something creating something. Yeah. A couple something. of monofilament lines hanging off that. Yeah. And I think you can show it better this time now. Is the thin edge around yes. here so it tapers outside, as opposed to the thick edge on the inside. As we've said, you can flip that around and have it totally different. Uh, it's entirely, There's no reason why you do it one or the other except for how you'd like to do it. Also, you can see now, you can see that design that we've put into it. I'll just put it a bit further back so yeah. you can see it. So you can see that zigzag no, that's on there, a zag zig, yeah. Or you can turn it the other way if you there's want to point it the other way. Zig. And there's the zag zig. Yeah, so that you've got this kind of pattern that runs all the way through, which helps it look like... Um, uh, like almost like a spiral pattern, yes. right? From a um... now, now, I don't think this would go any smaller because it's the three three bands of the color sequence. But it would definitely go another one, so we'd be able to get this to twenty four. Yeah. But if you had seven colors, you could get it to 21, 21 in the middle as well. Yeah. So if you so, wanted an extra color in there, that would be great. But after that, size wise, you want to be probably looking at going up. 
Yes. Um, up, but it's up the scale it's to super cute. Inch. You can imagine having this put a three footer inside there for an explorer or something like that. Yeah. Gender reveal. Imagine we, that if it was a. Well, no, we've no, used these for wheels for a carriage before as yes. well. So we actually did it as the four. And they were wheelie nice. However, in in hindsight though, now it would I have been so much better. The triangle because yeah. they're quite thick. The, the, the other way. The other way, way around. Yeah. The other way around. So it's got the single on the inside. And then it would be a spoke that's coming off there. That'd be fantastic. Yeah. So we need to go a, back yeah. to WBC. 2012, 14. 14, okay. Yeah, in Denver. Yeah, and then uh, remit that carriage because that was excellent, but these would have been better wheels. Yes. Just saying. Yeah, that's superb. Yeah. Do we like? Yes, I think yes. we do. We love that. Um, so, that was in six inch quick links. I was going to see if you could hula hoop that over there. <laughs> I was trying to. Uh, that was that was with six inch quick links done into a circle, but can we do the same design with 12 inch quick links into an arch. Can we make Oh, an I arch don't know. It? Can we? <laughs> Let's have a look. We'll have a bit of a try and look and, uh, and check it out. See what we like. Here we go. Here we go. Look at that. Some last minute update in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, this is the arch in three colours. Yeah, red, yellow and blue. Your normal triad colour harmony. Um, done with three quick links in the yes. triangle. Now, we wouldn't normally do this as our go-to arch. Mm -mm. It does work. It is buildable. Yes. It does use less balloons, which is which is great. However, it doesn't have as much structure. And actually, for the uh, keen-eyed amongst you, you'd have noticed in the video that it wasn't quite right at the top, and that was because uh, at the very back in the middle, yeah. two of the five-inch... Were had, underneath, yeah. that hadn't been popped up. When top. we build this normally, we'd have it laid down, and then we could do that scan over and lift up, because when you're so close, you just don't see it. No. Uh, however, that was a case of once we'd put it up and stepped back and went, yeah. That's not tucked in yet. So However, it's just it not does as... work, but it, it's not nowhere near as stable as a four. Um, but it does use uh, twenty quick links less yep. and forty five inch, inch less. less. So it's, it, it is about yeah. twenty five percent more efficient to make. Yes. However, what it does work for, and we have done this, is for a full ring of this scale. So yes. not an arch, but a ring. So very much like so, what we've just built now yes, in the six inch. If we bring this back. And you imagine, oh, I'm going to put that in here, yeah. Dom. So we've done this at this scale. However, we've done it with the 20. So it goes all the way around into a circle. And that circle structure is so much stronger. Yeah. And then we had it tied, I think it was four or maybe six monofilament lines. So it hung as a large scale chandelier in a, in a bigger venue. Yeah. However, arch-wise, it's a bit flimsy. Yeah. And we, we wouldn't be comfortable putting it out. 
You can stiffen it up a bit by putting in 11 inch balloons into the gaps. And also putting heavier weights um, on the base. At the moment, these are just kind of normal sand weights on, um, on the corners. And the, if you use 16 inch really over the top sand weights, it's a lot more stable that way too. It is. Now, when we say we put 11 inch in here, we always put them in as a dupler because if you put a single 11 inch balloon, we size it to nine inches and we push it in there, you will spend a very long time checking every single angle to make sure there's no neck hanging out. Yeah. Put it in as a dupler, you push one in, then one down. Although it's almost impossible to do on a three. It is harder to do on the three. Yeah, yeah. Well, to push that 11 yeah. inch through there, we it's say, almost it's impossible, impossible. But it's hard. Yeah. Um, so just another reason why we love the four. It works perfectly for our standard arches. Yeah. Something deco-wise, hanging, some fun things with it. Structural elements, great. But for an arch, it's a bit too tight. Yeah, absolutely. So um, that is your threes. So what we're going to do next is talk about... I'm going to make you hula hoop. Um, I'm going to talk about, um, instead of taking <laughs> one away, we're actually going to add one. We are, yes. Uh, and for that, we need this bag down here. I also think I'm going to move this out the way because it might okay. get in the way of what we're trying to build. You, you might. Uh, I think I'm going to go that way. With You're going to go that yeah. way. Let me go that way and then... You got it? Got. Yep. We're good, we're good. We'll drag. Great things with these type of arches that they move. They're very easy to move. They're very flexible. There's also seven other arches over on the other side of the studio. Uh, so, for this, we have um, a ring of five quick links. Again, size to nine inches, and then two three and a half inch uh, balloons on the end. Three, no, three inches on the end of these ones. So the reason we've got it loose Ooh. like this, this travels much better. Yeah. Once you start to build things into a structure, it becomes more rigid, which is what we want. Yes. However, when you're moving it from a vehicle into a venue, it's more likely to be damaged yeah. and it doesn't take up the space as well. So loose balloons in a bag work so much better. Yeah, this travels much. The thing is that once we push them against each other, that's going to increase the pressure, which makes, you know, um, if it brushes up the things, it makes it more likely to yeah. pop. We've got to need to go so in the venue with that. big bags and just yeah. throw them through the door and not stress or worry. And if there is a poppage, it's easy to fix because it's not kind of pulled together yet. So we have um, these two five inch on the top and I'm just going to take it together and give that a twist round and that gives us our fives and it's very easy to do on site with those five inch then we've got some extra five inch on here which I'm just going to pull in there pull in there pull in there and pull in there so we have our first connector with the extra one so this is five and put that there so what we here's some we prepared earlier got one that we're not going to use just yet because that's going to be the base. Now, we never connect our weights to anything on these until we're ready because, mm -hmm. as you've probably seen in a couple of videos, once you add a weight, it starts to pull it down to the ground, which makes it harder to work with. So, when we start with anything like a, a, an arch or some structure, the end one, where the weight would be, we leave. We don't put that ring on there and we start at the one in. That, we never it. resolved the weight issue. No, I was thinking about this when I said weights, Keith. Uh, uh, so, yeah. so we'll come back well, to it that. It was one of those things in our notes. I was like, we must remember to do 10 of these weights, yes. which we don't we, have. We might go and grab I'm, them. Too, I'm going to go and steal some. Right, you go and grab them. So, yes, it was on the list of things to do. And in fact, Keith, if I look over at the board at the side, it says, get the weights. Yeah, we didn't. So, I'm going to take the uh, just a small run of the quick links. These are sized to nine inches. Um, I'm going to go at that first connection point and just bring that and again, just do a single lock over to add that connection. I'm going to work my way around. What's great is it's the same process as always. We're not trying to re reinvent the, the technique. We're just having a bit of fun and playing around with the design. So first one's in we can work along if you are working as a team just be cautious so we put one in here we need to make sure that the appropriate ones line up so it's very easy this so if i was to grab the wrong one not notice it and come across i can make a right mess of the design if i'm not watching what i'm doing so i need to be cautious and if you work as a team work methodically across the design so just rolling it Round. 
very quickly. The structure's coming together nicely. And all we've done for this design is we've added one more in. So normally we'd have the four for the arch, but we've added one more in for that ring, so it's the five. And then because we've added the one more in, we've got one more connection point. So we've added one more chain that runs up and down. So you can see very quickly, we've got a, a fantastic column. Obviously, we've got no weight on that, so it's dancing around a little bit, but Keith will have those weights shortly. Uh, and then to add those weights on, we'd tie it onto those end connector points there with the quick link. Because it has that extra five inch on the end for the weight, that would then give us the connection points to bring in the base piece. Okay, But as we're going to try and make this into an arch, we're going to leave the weights off for now and continue on. Now, for the four, the shape square, uh, we would put on the inside balloon to transition into a curve, we would drop down from the nine inches to a six inch. So it's still a 12 inch link, but we're dropping it down to six inches. On the outside, it remains the nine. So for this one, if this was to continue as an arch and curve over, this would be our outside. So that would be nine inches still. These two, much like the triangle, are going to be the smaller size, which is six inches. And then because that's at an angle, we now need to work out what this one is, because we've got like a midpoint now. So we've created this uh, extra step and to keep and preserve the angle. If we did these at nine inch still, these would taper from this six inch up to this nine inch, but then be dragged straight there. So that would look odd. So we need to get that at an angle. I'm seeing some weights coming in at the side of the studio. They're very nice. They're lovely orange weights like are written on the board. <clears throat> Said no one ever. Right. <laughs> I was waiting for that one to pop. Uh, that would make Steph smile tomorrow. So, that we are working with the six inch size and the nine inch size, we've got those ones prepared. I've got the weights done. Excellent. Well done. You're so, I've so efficient. Them. Well, we love recycling. Five there. We strongly recommend playing around with the recipes for this. We standardly work with 20 balloons for the chain yeah. for our recipe, but we've done it with a little bit less for a little bit smaller arch, and we've also done it with a lot more as well. So we've yes. made it longer, wider, and we've come up, then curved, then gone straight, we've gone straight over arch, we've done all sorts. Just play around, like we showed you with the six inch, the modular parts, you can play around with it and make it work how you want. But for the experimentation, going from the four, to yes. three, then back up to the four to go to the five, we're gonna stick with the same 20. So what we've got here is, let me show you this one first. 20 balloons, but we've already in this little column as a demo, we've got four already. Yes. So we've got another 16, mm -hmm. 12 inch quick links, size to nine inches. Yes. Okay. So this is like our- full 20. Yeah, it gives you that outside spine, right? Yes. The outside spine, like if we did, when we did the threes, the outside spine was 20, 12 inch quick links, size to nine inches. So I'm picking one. one. It doesn't matter which one, but I am now setting that this is the one, which is the outside that one. That is the outside one. It's a good one. Yes. We've decided that the largest one is going to be on the outside of our five, on the outside of our again, it's going to come over the top. So that's going to go up and over. I'm going to move it like out the way for the moment. That, that, if that's the case. This is our midpoint, which we've talked about. I'm going to use our smaller ones. Yep. So they're sized to six inches. Six inches and then four size to nine inches. So in fact, in fact, if you hold that up against that, Keith, you can see quite clearly, this is the opposite side of the arch here, which you've got in your right hand. So that will be to mirror this one yeah. from the floor. So when this gets to the other side, that's our other four. And then this is the, the over, inside curve. So we tie it to what's going to be our inside there. I've got its partner in crime. So it's another set identical. So that is 12 at the six inches. So still all 12 inch quick links. And, and there's a lot of numbers here. So it's 12, six, 12 inch, inch quick, quick links, links at six size inches. Size to six inches. Then four 12 inch quick links, size to nine, nine inches. So that's now our inside, our outside, and we're gonna work out our midpoint. Yeah, that's gonna be the midpoint. Yeah. This one at the, at the moment is still the normal size. So we get some more connected. But we don't know what it is yet, so we're just going to ignore it because that's our way of dealing with problems. So I'm going to leave them for the moment, and uh, we'll that's come. Good advice. We'll come back to that. Just ignore them, and somehow they work themselves.
I, I don't think it is. It was just a thought. Oh, so, yeah. picking a connector. Got to be cautious, as always, because we've got two missing chains here. So I'm going to skip one and then bring in those inner ones. Yes. So we're doing the blue. Ones. Yep. We did get. We didn't get fancy with the colours on this one. Um, for bonus points in the chat, if, why would we pick? Blue and orange. Oh, nice. I mean, the go to answer would be what's in stock because no, that's, that that's out. That's <laughs> out. But that yeah, one's. We, we did have options, you're right. But... Get the other connectors. Get the other connectors. Go on, you do that. So, again, we're missing that point. I'm going to bring this down because that's far too high for me now. I'm actually going to add a couple on to that middle spine just to make it easy for me, just to tie to the floor. Because yeah. you can't go wrong with that one because it's just down the single, down the middle. You know what else you can't go wrong with, Tom? Uh, Qualtex.com. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, people, it'll make sense when it's built. Yes, the blue one goes on the blue one, the blue one onto the. Right, blue so one. I'm going to do this missing one here. Again, as always, make sure that these slip really easy you can easily miss one and not realize you've, you've missed a connector so just work your way along yeah. really easy to fix but it's normally you get right to the end and then you go okay i need to hit that to fix it yeah we even, we even practiced that today as well just so we were you know really you know up, up on that technique yeah yeah <laughs> definitely it wasn't an accident no I'm gonna do, oh you got it Super. And you can see we've got this bit here, but that's because we're going to be working out what this size is, and we don't want to tie this in yet. We're going to use that to tie the blue once we've worked out that size. Now, we've already made an assumption with our sizes, and there's a very good reason why we made the assumption that we did. Yeah, I think if we continue it round, then it'll be easy to see that assumption key. We're going to do the whole thing. I think. I think so. You reckon? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Because that might make it more Hi, well, sorry, obvious. We're late. Who's late? Go back and watch the start. Well, it's all right. If you go on Facebook, you see the start twice anyway. That's right. Detention for you, Alice. Alice. I'm getting buried in balloons. <laughs> Some would say I did on purpose. Some would say. So, right, there, I'm leaving push. two over here, which is the two base ones, okay? Is it because it's all about the base? It is all about the base. All about the base. No treble. So again, we've got these two of the smaller ones, the ones inside the six inches, two chains of the smaller ones. To your right. Are, thank you. That are running down the inside. I think there's a conversation to be had about getting the bigger studio keys. Uh, <laughs> just seeing. We've just kind of expanded to this one. Though. Yeah, but this is eight arches in the studio today. Eight arches. <laughs> and we still haven't recovered from the special day where there's stuff left from that. Yes. Watch out on our social media too because um, a lot of the imagery from last week's Rockstar Special Day will be hitting our social media shortly, so watch out for that one. Hi Shelly, nice to see you in chat there. And don't forget to share that social media as well. Yes. So apart from the two that we've kept on one side for the base, that's all the rings added now. It's one. Oh, now, yeah. we haven't, this side technically we could put on because we know what those sides would be, yes. but we're going to run them from a, from the chain that runs from that side because these four here would be exactly the same size. They would be nine inches as well. So what we've done is, we've, although we haven't built this particular arch before, exactly to this size, um, we've made a presumption on the middle size. Just so you know, I'm happy it stood up because it is the, literally the first time we built it. <laughs> So uh, the the presumption on this particular one is we'll show you how we worked out. This is nine inches on the uh, sorry the outside is nine inches on yep. the inside where we've got the curve. It is six inches. 
Yeah. This is so roughly you, halfway between. So you got that you got that wedge going this angle there going yeah. on, yeah. So you can kind of guess, right? If this is six inches and this is nine inches, halfway in between there is seven and a half inches. Yeah. So I think oh, they were all just so excited. It's on the 30 second yeah, delay that yeah. caused the problem. Yeah, they can't type uh, that fast. So yeah, it's uh, seven and a half inches is what we went for in between. So uh, we've already created two more chains using this. <laughs> uh, using the seven and a half inches. So we've got 12 size to seven and a half inches plus our four size to nine, nine inches. inches. Again. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go behind here, pull it out a yep. little bit. You can work from the front, I'll work from so. the front. We're just going to join these on, so they're going to continue on. Now, if you're building this right from, it's dumb. It's right from the recipe, you'd just do them straight off. So you'd have yes. your four at the nine inches, then you'd have the 12 at the seven in, and seven and a half inches, and then you go back to the four at the nine inches. Yeah. So, just going along and zipping them up. Yeah, because it is a zippity new dad here, Dom. And just as you go through every one or two, just remind Keith to make sure he hasn't missed one. I haven't missed one yet, Dom. I then one then notably, the then, then notably check your own to make I sure you know. haven't accused him of it and you've done it yourself, just saying, because that would look silly. Um, <laughs> you know, it happens. It happens. Oh, I'm laughing, I've got onto uh, <laughs> the large one, the right one. That, that's the right uh, time to go. Yes, you know what? I can get some confidence. Yeah, yeah just working to my convenience. Upside down. So, as this goes up, you'll start to see that this is far more of a fuller arch. It gives you so many more um, potential points of colour change as yes. well. So now we've got our chains. Yes. We've got our rings with more choices. So if you're thinking about corporate colours, perhaps you've got a, you know, a five colour sequence. Why not have this one colour, this one colour? You know, so going round, you've got different yeah. bands, that sort of stripes that run through that way. Also, if you want to showcase, um, if you want to use, say, for instance, a quick link print, mm -hmm. and you want to showcase it, this particular one here is very prominent. Um, so it's also yeah. it's a little bit bigger than this one, which the undersized ones sometimes they don't showcase the print as well. And but once you start getting up to seven and a half inches, that's that's clear. Nice. 11 inch print. Perfect, because then it's that way. Yeah, as well. and you could just do it as a band here. Yes. We've also done in the past as well foil, where we personalise and we do that onto a quick link or a, sorry, a, um, uh, eleven uh, inch. So the eleven inch pushes into the gap, and the quick link then sits in there as well. So lots of different options for that yeah. as well. Uh, I think we need to get some weights on as well to get this seated. I think so. Yes. Yeah. What do you reckon? Five, so, ten minutes. Uh, I think so. Yeah. I mean, if that's by us standards wise, it'll be about fifteen to twenty. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we're all, right. You ready? Ah, oh, I wasn't. I, I, I wasn't. Yeah, uh, I wasn't quick enough to throw. I tried. I tried, people. Where's he gone? Gone off camera. There's some sandwiches down there. So I'm not. I'm here. Tie them on. Normally start with the ones that are closest to the floor because as soon as the weights are on, they're going to start pulling that down. If uh, you want to as well, you can actually add the ring on as you go, so it means it's not pulling it away from you. Can you pass one of those rings from your left hand side there, please, if you can? Um, yeah, one. The ones over there. No, I think it's over to your, behind you. Behind me? Is it not there? Where's it hiding, Keith? Where's it at? What have you done with your ring, Dom? Where is it? Well, have you done with it? I can't see it. It's not there. What have you done with it, Dom? Yeah. Oh, was this the one you were looking mm -hmm. for? This is what I've got to work with, people. It's now. If, if, we, if, if you were sort of planned and prepared, I would use colour coordinated weights. So you take a stand weight. Which Listen, is, this is blue on blue. <laughs> it's a double stuffed 11 inch balloon, and you'd use a double stuffed orange 11 inch, and then you would size it to approximately the same size as your 5 inch. So these are approximately sized to 3.5 inches. Now, if you have a small bottle for filling your sand weights, once you've done one or two, you can actually put a marker on the bottle for how much sand you need. So if you do one sand weight first, 
fill it and get it to the right size, then empty that sand back out and put that into the bottle, put a marker on it, then you know how much sand is needed to fill uh, your 11 inch balloons to approximately the, the uh, size that you need. So do one as a little prototype and then all the rest are much faster. So if you need to grab them in a hurry because you haven't done them, um, uh, I had to go and find the ring because some, somebody has hidden it. Stolen now and sab sabotage. Sabotage. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Does it? Now this wants to go down because yeah. it's got it's got some weight in the bottom. Look at that. It's turning a little bit on the mid, on the Yeah, to get that to get that inside band, yeah. And look at that. Because it's got so much weight on there, you can actually in like it put a twist in that shouldn't be there. Yeah. But because it's so weighty, it's gonna sit there. So it's uh you just gotta make sure it's seated. Just a little bit. And I tell you what, if you go and do the um camera to come up. Oh okay, yeah, so on, on the adjusty adjusty. We're about to finish. Bye. and post it on our social media so you can have a full uh, oh, um, there we go. picture of this uh, all Done. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't one of the focus, but it's there. Yeah. Look at that. That's, I, I love how, how structural that is. Yes. And uh, it looks so much fuller. Yeah. To, uh, uh, what, I, what I particularly like about it coming from around there, looking at it this way, is there's more angles to see it. It looks rounder. Mm -hmm. And it's just a little bit more interesting than the square one because of the way it presents more sides. Yeah. I like although, although we haven't done this sort of size before, what we have done is we've done a giant one. Yes. And we did it as. I think it was something like nine around and we yeah. did it because we made it was for a magician's uh dinner and we did um it was absolutely massive uh, about 30 feet long uh magic wand that we yes. floated from the ceiling using three foot balloons because we couldn't do any connections shelly yeah. is literally doing that right now which i believe is the sand weights okay it was either that or adjusting the cameras no it was <laughs> definitely the sand weights <laughs> Um, but so yeah, so, so that, that structure wise, it's so good. Yeah. You've got so much flexibility with it as well. But for a arch, this is great. This yeah. is so going into our catalog of arches that we're going to do. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. That's brilliant. We've also done it as well as um, wider columns and we've actually put used it to wrap around another column. Mm -hmm. So where we do this zip up method, we actually left this one spine, the, the, the chain out and the connection wasn't done. So it was kind of like a, like a big C. So we could go up on the venue and let it hug around the column and then just lock it around. Now we just made it slightly bigger than the column was just to save us having any issues. And it just hid this, what was very ugly looking column. column which also as well as that, that venue gets used for a lot of different things. So, and people know that there's these big columns. So, and it just completely changed the look of it. It did. Now, there's other techniques that you can use yeah. to wrap that, but a bit more time consuming. There's the, you know, the, the band and the, the kind of the, the duplet one that you can yeah. do around it. It looks beautiful and it is far more finessed than this one, mm -hmm. but time and, and the cost of it is the, the, the chalk and cheese, totally different. Uh, this one, we can get in there nice and fast, doesn't use as many balloons, and we've got loads of options with it. And it was a uh, very, budget friendly for the customer that one so yes uh, and we like it because we enjoy doing that so, so that is the end of tonight's show and it is. this is the that's at 30 the, minutes the in yeah this is the <laughs> this is the three version yeah which we made that hoop Yay. With. um and then this is the five yeah so, so doing a three a four and a five taking one away from your connectors or adding one there changing the geometric design from the normal square you can changing between the different. sizes from the big to the little to yeah. create the curves as and when you want them and that's a really good recipe that we're going to have a play around with as well, where we can step that and change it up as well. So, and who knew seven and a half inches looks like it was right. Great stuff. Yep. Okay. I need to be over here. You do. But uh, other than that, I do. I'm going to stand over this side and we're going to say goodbye for now. We are.
And um, we'll we see you in two see weeks' you time. In two weeks' time. Yes. Ciao um, for now. Keep an eye on the social medias for pictures of the designs.